Okay, here we go, the fourth installment of the AvianX Tour. We're gonna hunt Iowa and Missouri. We're gonna start out with Tracy Pettit there in Iowa, and then we're going to Missouri, where Dog, Wade, and Austin are after him in one of our favorite bottoms. Three different birds are gonna fall before this episode's over with. favorite ridges. It's not too far off the highway, so that's why you hear the highway traffic. We're going to set up in the brush. Kuhnold is going to be in a back blind filming everything. Wade and I are going to be up front. Tracy's shooting. Hopefully they come out to green tonight and uh, we'll let the avians do work and then Tracy do some work. I'm in. You excited? I'm so excited. I'm pumped. We have Tracy Pettit in camp and uh, I'm so excited to have her in. She's Bruce Pettit's wife with Leupold Optics. We're looking forward to working these birds. Afternoon hunt, they're not gobbling very well. We decide to go to a very high point, let our moss yoke do the work in the brush, and let our avians do the work out in this beautiful green hillside. Hopefully the birds we've seen here throughout the season show up tonight. All right, I'm doing some really loud, high-pitched calling with the Final Roost Pot Call as well as the Tongue Cutter Plus Mouth Call. Both of those are new from HS this year, part of the Drury Outdoor Signature Series. To have her turn his stuff on. <laughs> I think she just finished the job. Good job, Tracy! Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! I don't know what happened that first shot, but he was, he like walked off kind of in a stupor. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I was like, I felt like I was right on him. I was never so happy to hear that second shot go off. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got your bird, girl. <laughs> right before all the weather came in. Yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations, Tracy. Thank you so much. That was an awesome first day that we didn't even think we were gonna really hunt today, but we made it happen, which was awesome. With the forecast, she flew in from Arizona. We were like, it's wet the next few days. Let's go out and sit in one of our favorite evening spots. Coon Dog was in the back blind. Wade was up here with me and Tracy, and we just started calling and waiting and calling and waiting. We had decoys in a very high visual spot. These birds came out and they ate it up and came right to us. How excited were you? Um, I was very <laughs> excited because he came out. They, they were kind of tucked away. And then all of a sudden he was there, full strut, looking gorgeous. I mean, it was, it was awesome. It was awesome. It was really awesome. And uh, she was on. And you know the Tacticam show she's on hits him, but for whatever reason it didn't you know it didn't take the turkey down. So he just went in the brush right there. She got up, made a secondary shot, and that was that. So. You know, I was I was nervous. I was like, oh gosh, please don't get up, please don't get up. But he didn't. He wasn't going anywhere, which was which was great. Yeah, it was an awesome ending to it. I mean, I don't really have first days like this all the time. Yeah, so right. It was it was great. It was awesome, and uh, congratulations now. You know, let it rain. We don't have to worry about it. You got your bird and just another fantastic installment here in Iowa. Just so much fun. This particular call 
is the next one I'm gonna talk about. This is the Tongue Cutter Plus. So it's very similar to the Cutter Call in that it, again, is three reeds. They're very thin. The spacing is very tight. One of the things that we focused on to make sure that they were easy to blow. Thin reeds, spaced tightly, give you a nice high-low break, and they're also easy to blow. So we wanted you to use less air, but get very realistic sounds. Myself, Paul Butsky, Terry, we all talked about it, and we said, this series has to be realistic. This is a call that I use a lot whenever I'm hunting. It's very easy to blow. It's a cutter call, and then there's also a little V slice on the side. This is the Tongue Cutter Plus. If I had a candle in front of me, it would barely move. I'm not using much air, yet you still get a very realistic sound. Easy to use, realistic sound, that's the key. Well, we got on some birds early this morning. They were out in the pasture. We really couldn't connect with them. They walked off before we did. We came to the Lucky Horseshoe because old man dog likes to sit. You don't know how hard it was to get Austin and Wade to agree to sit. So we decided to make a play and Wade's going, let's check the bottom field. So many Jake's up there, they might be in here. So our game plan is to sneak down to this bottom field and see what happens. You never know. You hear that sweet yelping. That's a prototype of the new final roost pot and peg call from HS. It's part of the Drury Outdoor Signature Series. Pay close attention to how short this turkey's gobble is. It would make you think it's a Jake, however, the gobble doesn't always describe what bird is out in that field. Short goblin longbeards are oftentimes really old turkeys. So much fun. Pow, baby, pow, pow. Pow, pow. A double here in Missouri. Just and awesome. You know what? Mark, they didn't see my sticker. <laughs> <laughs> pow, baby, pow. Pow, baby, pow. Just awesome. Great calling, man. Nice. Oh, it Sucked worked right perfect. In Good shooting, fellas. That was awesome. Teamwork to make the dream work with yeah. the Mustache Mafia. The Mustache Mafia, baby. Yes, that was so much fun. They worked like a dream.
How about that for a double dog? Wade, that is unbelievable on a rainy day. It, it was raining all morning. We, we held out till a little bit later, mid-morning, uh, come out. And this is one of our favorite farms, uh, the Lucky Horseshoe up top and this beautiful clover field down here in the bottom. And we decided to come down to the clover field. It worked out awesome. And uh, they come screaming in. Austin dropped back and float call a little bit. And it just worked to perfection. They come right into that lay down hen. Oh, yeah. And that's the key with the lay down hen and him behind us about 20 yards. It sucked him right in. It was just awesome. Congratulations, dog. Oh, just a beautiful hunt here in Missouri. Couldn't share it with a better person or two people. I mean, unbelievable. Mustache mafia, baby. <laughs> pow, baby, pow. Rolls on. Good yeah. stuff. Congrats, fellas. Thanks, Austin. DeerCast is giving you the chance to hunt with Mark and Terry Drury. Head over to DeerCast.com to enter. <laughs> We're adding new videos every week, so make sure to click that subscribe button and check out all of our amazing content. This episode of DOD TV was brought to you by Leupold.